Hello viewers, SuperGT here. So this is a discussion about the next motorsport game in the Forza series. And uh, what you're seeing on the screen, load of Forza 7 gameplay of course, with plenty of carnage. Look out for the red Lancia 37 on lap 2. You'll see what I mean. You can see already it's, got, it's getting very, very dirty. But anyway, we've had uh, E3 that's just come and gone. And during E3, there was a, a plenty of discussion uh, with the Turn 10 team regarding the next instalment of the Forza Motorsport series. And actually, it's the first time I've heard any reference to the next motorsport game. They have talked in the past about um, upcoming Forza projects or the next Forza game, but it, they didn't really specify exactly that it was a motorsport game. But, um, but during E3, Dan Greenwald specifically mentioned the term The Next Motorsport. The Next Motorsport Game. So we're going to look forward to Forza 8, as we're going to presume it's going to be called, Forza Motorsport 8. And I'm guessing that this is going to tie in with something else that was, um, that was talked about at E3, which is, of course, Project Scarlet, the next generation of console. And that is looking at a release date of the end of 2020, so say the second half or the last quarter of, of next year. And presuming, we're presuming here maybe that Forza 8 is going to be released alongside that. Although, having said that, um, Dan Greenwald also did say that currently do not have a timeline we are m marching straight to we're not looking towards a date so i suppose the the next console project scarlet whatever it's going to be called i suppose that doesn't have an exact release date just yet and neither does forza motorsport 8 but i mean you could maybe guess that it's going to be uh, possibly a launch title for, for the next console forza 7 um, was a release title well, it came out very soon after um, the Xbox One X. Forza 5 came out with the Xbox One back in 2013. So it's a possibility, it's a distinct possibility that this console will have Forza 8 as a release title. But then again, we don't know for sure. So in terms of release, we're looking maybe at the end of next year, possibly a little bit after. But um, I'd be highly doubtful if it would come out on this generation of console and then be released later on the next console so we're probably going to have to wait until the next console comes out for Forza 8. Um, but this does mark a little bit of a change in the time frames for the, for the Forza games as we go for a nice little revenge punt there. I don't know what that guy was doing, he, he kind of swerved across completely unnecessarily. So I don't know what his problem was but his problem now is obviously that he's in the gravel. But um, Forza 1 was released in 2005 and then every game, every motorsport game from then was released two years after. So Forza 2, 2007, Forza 3, 2009, two years, two years, two years, two years. And then Forza 7 released 2017. So therefore 2019 should mark the release of Forza 8, but obviously it's not going to go down that way. We would have heard something about it by now. And we're already halfway into the year. I mean, it could come out, but it's just probably not, almost certainly not. Judging by the things that Dan Green was saying, they're really only at the sort of the concept stage. They're only at the very beginning of development right now. As uh, we go flying, I always find that, that end quite entertaining at that track, where we go flying off onto the grass. But um, at the moment, they're not really that far into the development of the next multiple game. So we're almost certainly not having it this year. It's going to almost certainly, I would, I would guess, and it is just a guess because I don't know. No one really knows. I suppose maybe people at Turn 10 might know. But we're looking at the end of 2020. It's, it's, it's going to be my reasonable guess. As um, we go for the Jeep this time around at Rio, uh, which has actually served us well around here. It's got plenty of power, this thing. It is uh, obviously very tall, high chance, high probability of rolling over onto your side. But um, 
In terms of the development then for Forza 8, again part of these in, uh, these interviews, so this was the interview between Dan Greenwald and Macberg, and they basically discussed the, the you know the concepts and where the next game is at and how they're going to develop it. And one thing they were saying a bit was that they're going to get uh, the players involved. So exactly how they're going to do that? Well, I mean they did, they did, they mentioned Skype calls, um, in in house testing, surveys, that kind of thing. So. They are in very much interested in getting the public response and uh, seeing exactly what people want in the game. So I suppose it's a good opportunity to ask everyone what are the kind of things we want to see in the next Forza game. Um, because there are lots of different communities involved in any multiple game. You've got, of course, the racers. You've got the racers, you've got the painters, you've got the drifters, you've got the drag racers. There's so many different groups of people who, who like to enjoy Forza Motorsport. That, um, there's lots of different things that we all want to see. And I think the main things that I would like to see, I covered in my recent video, what Forza 8 needs, or what needs to get right. And for me, it was really just a case of really just getting a little bit more motorsporty, if that's a word, which it isn't, but it is now. And that kind of involves a lot more race cars, maybe a, uh, an up-to-date, uh, track list, so it's a couple of new tracks, uh, ideally some real world tracks and some and some uh, fictional ones too. But then also just tying up little things like, you see on the left hand side of the screen there, the, the distance markers which um, gives you the gaps to each car, just changing that to time, uh, time based things like that, adding a proper qualifying mode, not necessarily for the online hoppers but just uh, as a setting in single player, as a setting in private lobbies. So there's lots of little things like that that they could change to make it feel a little bit more like a motorsport game. The career mode could do with a revamp, to be honest, because the I, I feel as though the single player's got a little bit repetitive. It's kind of just a, a, a grind. It really does feel like a grind. There's not much to it. Um, and that, that could definitely change. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's quite an interesting time that we're heading into, I suppose, because I think things are going to be a little bit different. I hope they are, because, of course, Forza 7 had so many problems when it released. It had a lot of problems. It, it really didn't work very well at all. It really was an absolute mess. I think that's actually quite reasonable to say. It really just did not work at all. Uh, Forza 5... You could also argue the same. It wasn't the greatest game. Probably one of the weakest. It's probably the weakest motorsport game out of all seven so far. And the worrying thing, I suppose, is that it uh, both of those games coincide with the release of a console, so Xbox One for Forza Five, Xbox One X for Forza Seven, and that is the worry potentially that um, because this game might come out with the next console, that it could go down the same road of not being ready but um, just by listening to the things that Dan Greenwald was saying about the non-specific release date the fact that it is going to be another year so it's not going to be a two year cycle it's going to be probably three maybe more that is actually quite good to hear and I think it's the right decision it's the right way to go just to make sure that the next game is good on release it, is, it does work completely I think it's a, it's a good way to go. And I think uh, the series does need a bit of a freshen up. Maybe the last couple of games certainly have kind of just been a little bit... Uh, I don't know, the series have kind of stood still a little bit, you could say. As I kind of just wiped that guy completely out. My brakes not really working as I would have thought there. Uh, let everyone go back past and go back. And try to overtake them all. So driving the HSV Malou here at Suzuka. But yeah, the, the Forza 5, Forza 7 releases um, are suboptimal, you could say. The series are kind of still a little bit, even though I, I think the eSports has, has worked very well, in, uh, especially Forza 6. Forza 7 has worked very well as well. Um, so that that's improved, I think, definitely. But just the sort of just the features in the game, that kind of thing, it's kind of not really been groundbreaking, I wouldn't say, in the last couple of uh, motorsport games. 
So let's just hope that Forza 8, they've got lots more time to develop it. They've got the power of the new console. And judging by the stats that, that they've been talking about for the next console, you know, it should be very, very impressive what they can come up with. So we keenly await what Turn 10 can muster up for the next game. And you know what, I really hope it is just a, a very good game. I just shove that guy wide, unceremoniously wide. This is a very, very messy, very messy race. Um, well, not just this race, actually, pretty much every race has been full of Shadow Realm entries throughout. And so not very, very clean at all. But, um, yeah, please do let me know your thoughts on what you think the release date is. Um, for Forza 8, uh, or the next motorsport title, as uh, we could just simply refer to it as, and just just the thoughts on what it might include, the features. I would, as oh my god, that guy's getting unceremoniously bundled wide. I would like to see a few more tracks because that's the one thing that I was actually quite disappointed about on Forza 7, cunts. the fact that there was only one new track to the series, which was Dubai. We had Suzuka and Mugello return, so they came back after being absent in quarter six. But um, no new real tracks in this game, and sin even since there's been no um, DLCs with uh, new tracks. So that's been a little bit disappointing. They are continuing to update the game, but I, I, I highly doubt that we're going to see any new tracks on quarter seven from now on. So that is something that I would like to see on quarter eight. Um, a few more tracks, at least maybe, at least three or four new real tracks, and maybe two or three fictional ones. So we're looking at maybe six or seven or more uh, tracks being added. I would like to see a few more tracks. I think that is quite important because there are a lot of cars. I mean, cars. Um, there's plenty of them, hundreds, hundreds of hundreds of cars. Not all of them are kind of relevant though. That is one issue, and I would also say that. I'd like to see a sort of an updated roster of, of race cars. So, you know, Forza 7, it was a little bit disappointing to see uh, that we didn't really get an updated list of GT cars. So the GT cars, a lot of them were kind of all still the old ones. And we only had, I think it was three new, really, uh, new GT cars on release of Forza 7. So it wasn't that groundbreaking. And uh, hopefully that is something that can change for the next one so here we are again in the jeep this thing's actually really good i actually quite enjoy uh, driving this so by the way we are in a class for anyone wondering and uh, the jeep here is actually it's actually a really good car to use or vehicle to use in, in this class and it's actually worked pretty well for me i'm trying to get past this ferrari of all cars around uh, homestead so but yeah, I mean, this video is just really just a discussion, just my thoughts as um, E3's come and gone, a couple of things were said. I mean, uh, we were watching through that, um, the E3 conference, and just waiting for any news on Forza 8, see if, if anything was going to come up. Nothing did really come up. Um, it was more about the Horizon LEGO expansion, that was the main Forza um, story to be told. This guy gets very angry. Dickhead, me. Fucking dickhead. There's a fucking jeep. <laughs> that guy got really angry about that uh, tiny bit of contact. It was an awkward move. But I was ahead of him as he, just before he went off. But anyway. Um, awkward stuff. Once again in A class here. As um, we have a chance, we have a shot here of going for third place. Which wouldn't be too bad. We started a little bit further back. And um, I'm just trying to catch up with BMW here on the final lap. But this video is going to come to a close here. So thank you so much for tuning in as always. Please do let me know your thoughts. What is the release date going to be? What do you think it will, what do you think it will be? Do you think it will be a release title with the next console? Or maybe a little bit later, will it come out later? Or will it come out on this generation and then be released again on the next one? So lots of, lots of little questions. Lots of... I mean, it's, it is all just um, opinion, really, at this point. It's not really... There's no facts, really, to go on. But um, I'd imagine it'll come out as a release title for the next console around about October next year.
that is just my guess. If it comes to be true, then I'm going to come back to this video and tell everyone that I got it right. But let me know your thoughts. I'll see you next time, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, maybe consider subscribing for more of the same. And if you did enjoy, hit the like button. I'll see you next time, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. Yeah.